South Africans are reacting to the travel bans placed by the UK and several other nations on their country as a result of the emergence of a new COVID variant. Top among them is Professor Tulio de Oliveira, who is a Durban-based scientist who is leading efforts to understand the new variant. He says the world should provide support for South, to South Africa and Africa instead of discrimination or isolation. Why South Africa prides itself in its scientific expertise and the speed with which it has been able to identify and share information about new variants so far. Some say the nation has been unfairly punished for its successes. South Africa has a sophisticated monitoring infrastructure and, uh, that allows it to do the virus sequencing work effectively. Now, Oscar Ometue is also the CEO of Billion House Consulting. He joins me from the South African capital, Johannesburg, to discuss this worrying development. Oscar, if this virus is completely as described by the WHO being virulent and a variant of concern, what does this mean for the world and particularly businesses? Thank you so much, Brian, for having me. Um, what stands out here is uh, the, 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 the way that the international community actually responded to this. And like the president did declare last night or said last night, it was too hasty and it was such an unjustifiable action. We understand that COVID itself and the new variant are very, very dangerous and need to be caught and information need to be shared accordingly. But we believe that the reaction and how it was managed, especially by the international communities that have decided to uh, put a ban on most of those uh, Southern African countries, it's unjustifiable. And this restriction, if or the ban like they have acted, will not, in my opinion, and like some other thought leaders have actually expressed, are not going to help in the carbon and the spread of this new variant. So there should be a more tactical, a more uh, 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 approachable way to manage this without crippling, uh, crippling the economies of the SADC, especially Africa, and, and, and with the way it's been handled at this point. I've seen um, President Ramaphosa you know, also saying that South Africa has criticized the travel restrictions imposed against them as a hasty and non-compliant with WHO guidelines. What are you thinking at this time? Yeah, I think that's the true position of how this is right now. It was too hasty. It's like um, he just came out from uh, the G20 meetings where information sharing was one of the key things that were actually highlighted how countries could share info regarding how they cope and manage COVID. Now, how do you think that having shared information of your latest finding, let it be on record that South Africa can boast and reckon with one or some of the best um, 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 uh, doctors and scientists across the planet or across the globe. Now, sharing information has suddenly led to uh, an imposition of ban and restrictions it's unfair if if you ask me my thought where i am right now it was too hasty and unjustifiable like the president said well uh that that being said pharmaceutical companies thought they had um, achieved breakthrough against the virus but with the discovery of omicron does that mean they have to change their approach and probably start all over again um speaking from a business perspective you would see that um, what is being used currently or what we've been informed or being told is they're still trying at the highest level to manage and curb uh, COVID. We've been told that the vaccines are safe and the vaccines can really help fight or manage the, the COVID. Now, what this means is that it's really not like this is the end of it. Um, maybe new cases will be coming up, new uh, uh, variants will be discovered, but we don't have to now say, let's go by, let's not take. We encourage people as many as possible. Government has been investing in getting people motivated, persuaded to go take the vaccine. Perhaps the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical will have to rethink and have a new way of really having to manage or curb this new virus that is just coming up every day. That is something I know they are actually busy with at this point in time. Well, uh, before I let you go, uh, this virus, this um, Omicron, has been said that it's been described as very virulent and that 
the level of mutation is so crazy as anyone can imagine. I, are you afraid we might go back to uh, uh, another lockdown if possible? I think the one thing we can afford at this point in time is another uh, crippling, another severe uh, lockdown, especially here in South Africa. Um, it's millions of billions have been lost. Jobs have been lost. Tax revenues have been lost due to their past restrictions. I, I believe that that might not be the best uh, response to managing whether future variants that will be coming or emerging. There should definitely be a better way. Tourism is being lost. Businesses have been crippled. And at the end of the day, it's affecting the common man on the streets. There will definitely be another way to manage or best handle the situation. So even the economy that are beginning to pick up, don't get hit and now get down again. There will obviously have to be a more better response than just um, taking like a South Africa, where we are on level one um, of the of the lockdown, maybe taking it further again to say level four, level three, and all of that. I don't think these are necessary. There are factors that need to be put in place. Jobs that have been affected, economy that is is managing to resuscitate at this point. Definitely, there will be a more better approach to dealing with this. For me, it's all about putting those things that needs to be in place, equipping the hospital, getting more doctors, getting more nurses to be on ground, more facilities to help to detect these variant or new right, viruses Oscar. that might be coming. This might be a better way to handle this. Absolutely, Oscar. Well, it remains to be seen how uh, the world is going to handle this, particularly the WHO, who is also the front lines of all of this. Uh, Oscar Mitre, CEO of Billionaire House Consulting. Thank you so much for your insight. Thank you for having me.